people in the industry have coined the term virtual power plant. And really up to this point, it's it's creating a, a software solution. So Hedera is part of, I think, a technology stack using their digital ledger technology along with other technologies that will provide the marketplace that we can, at this point, finally pull off this system. Welcome to Hedera Hashgraphs, gossip about gossip. If you are a developer, an entrepreneur, crypto enthusiast, or just trying to learn more about how distributed ledger technology and Hedera Hashgraph will impact your industry, then you'll love the episodes that we have coming up. Bookmark us, add us to your podcast app, and stay tuned. Hey there, and welcome to Hedera Hashgraph, Gossip About Gossip. I'm Paul Madsen. I sometimes think the chats I have with dApps building on Hedera should be called something like cutting out the middlemen, because I'm talking to another entrepreneur today who is determined to, to cut out the middlemen in the power industry. I'm joined today by Mike Beitler from MyVPP. How are you, Mike? Doing great. Thanks, Paul. So did I summarize correctly the business model? Yeah, it's, it's very, very good as far as how you summarize it. Pretty much what we're, what we're doing is looking to use energy storage technologies and push technology to the grid edge and actually what you said, cut out the middleman. And part of us doing that is using Hedera Hashgraph as a platform in which we tokenize the kilowatt hour and create a marketplace in which that energy can be traded. Awesome. So let's let's come back later to... Um you know, why you're building on Hedera, yeah. maybe what particular advantages you think we can offer. Before we get there, what about your background? How did you get here? Real quick, uh, my background is semiconductor, so 30 years in semiconductor with nine years at IBM and then followed up by 20 years with Texas Instruments. So I've been in, you know, the chip build technology space for that whole time. And what I saw is electric markets and pretty much centralized systems such as electricity need to be decentralized and, again, push it to grid edge or the network to grid edge. And I saw Hedera as a platform to help do this. So you're, you're pushing electricity to the edge, but my sense is that you're focused on storage and not generation. Is that fair? Yes. So as we add more clean energy products to the electric grid, such as I'm in Texas, so wind power, or in states like California, solar power, they're intermittent energy sources, and we need to store that power. And by tokenizing the kilowatt energy in those systems and stuff, energy storage systems, we can use those power systems in off-peak times. So is the proposition that I, as a homeowner, install a storage device, a battery of some sort, and then can sell that back in off-peak hours and do so using your token? Yes. So there are, there are two, two mechanisms we can use. The first mechanism is load reduction, where we will create a marketplace where you get paid to take your house off the grid and run on your battery. The second mechanism is actually if you're not home and using that energy where we can actually aggregate you know, hundreds or at some point thousands of energy sources and price that into the marketplace. Cool. Is there a token? Yes, the token is VPP. You know, people in the industry have coined the term virtual power plant. And really, up to this point, it's it's creating a, a software solution. So Hedera is part of, I think, a technology stack using their digital ledger technology along with other technologies that will provide the marketplace that we can, at this point, finally pull off this, this system. And so VPP can operate to take load off the grid. So if someone's home and using power, we will switch over to battery power and take advantage of them having battery storage technology in their house. Second mechanism would be if people are not home to sell that electric back into the grid. For an example, uh, about two, three weeks ago in the Texas market, Texas ERCOT market, I charged my battery off peak at 1.4 cents a kilowatt hour. And we had a very hot day the next day in Texas and pricing in the wholesale markets went to $9 a kilowatt hour. It's over a 300x multiplier. So this gives arbitrage opportunities to people that have energy storage on the grid edge. You charge your battery at those low low rates and then sell into the high rates on the, the next hot day when they, they need air conditioning? That's exactly right. Awesome. So tell me about electricity inelasticity. So as we add more in intermittent electricity into the markets, it creates more chaos. So in the Texas market where I live, uh, typically during the day, the wind power drops off, and that's when we need wind power the most, especially in summertime. So 
Because of this chaos, we can actually create market opportunities that have not existed before. And this is really where pushing energy storage into homes and stuff where people actually have it behind our meter or actually in commercial properties where it's behind the meter. This gives people to uh, take advantage of those marketplaces. And this is why we're building on Hedera to build out a marketplace to do this. You, you said you're in Texas. Is, is that how you found out about Hedera? Yes. So Hedera Hashgraph, I actually, uh, in early readings, um, I started to look at some alternative blockchain technologies and just knew right off the bat they wouldn't scale properly. So it was late 2017 when I started to read on uh, Hedera and some of the distributed ledger technology that Lehman and Mance were coming up with. And I really, with uh, Alum Applied Technologies and Virtual Power Plant Corporation, we really sat back and we waited for the right technology come o- come along that can help us get to market in the correct way. And actually, in, in electric markets, we deal on things that cost, in the kilowatt hour space, it costs cents. So like when I talked about the other day, one, something cost me 1.5 cents. We really looked at Hedera as far as their transaction costs and their speeds. And once this marketplace uh, evolves, we can't have tra- high transaction costs. And because Hedera is operating in the micropayment space, this is really why we wait until now to announce. And Hedera, with our mainnet coming online September 16th, to wait till now to put Illumina Applied Technologies and Virtual Power Plant to market. It's great to hear you talk about the speed and, and so the, the low fees and, and so micropayments. But I also, anytime some use case has a marketplace implied, and and I think yours does, right? Because if these homeowners are going to be selling their stored power back into the grid, then in a sense, there's competition there as to which homeowner gets the best price, perhaps. And so I think Hedera's fairness, or I suggest Hedera's fairness, would also be an important value for your use case. Yes. So when when you look at the distributed ledger technologies, in my opinion, there have been examples of accounting problems. So a ledger technology being that Hedera and their ABFT, A Byzantine fault tolerance, and the consensus mechanism, there have been instances in the energy industry with, for example, Enron, where it was an accounting practice that caused them to fail. So building an energy platform on a consensus mechanism that is trustless becomes very, very, very important, in my opinion. Yeah, agreed. And the the visibility and transparency that we can offer all parties in the ecosystem, right? So those homeowners know when their bid to sell a given amount of kilowatt hours was received by the network and whether or not they got a, a better price accordingly. So you're in Texas. Are you are you launching in Texas? What's next? Proof of concept is completed and we're launching MVP right now. So we are looking to put uh, energy storage systems in 10 to 20 residences right now. And at that point, uh, we will scale from there. But really, th- this is something that's it's a slow build. And we're looking at the Texas markets because there, there are three grids in the United States. There's an East, East Coast grid, West Coast grid, and then Texas. So there's some you know regulatory issues why we're launching in Texas, but we feel Texas has an opportunity for us to explore and really prove out our market model. And one of the other reasons for partnering with uh, Hedera, they becoming a strategic collaboration partner, is the Hedera guys are right down the road for me in Richardson, Texas. So that gives us a good access to the people within Hedera as far as building this. I'm up in Canada. Does our climate introduce challenges for these batteries? Are they in the garage or inside? So, so they can be either or. My battery is in my garage and that, where most people have them in Texas would be in the garage and stuff. So the climate does not present a challenge, in my opinion. You know, the batteries are becoming more and more robust as the engineering on the batteries gets better. But really at this point, you know, it's having the software solutions as far as, you know, Hedera being a part of technology stack. Hedera is an enabling technology, in my opinion. And, you know, along with machine learning and AI, uh, one of the things we can do is, because we're tokenizing the kilowatt hour in a battery system, we can actually use off-chain databases, which have the market data. So uh, we will use oracles that access those off-chain databases, and then that helps to self-execute the smart contracts that will be on Hedera. So there's a lot of things that have never been done before in these marketplaces, but that's where I see the exciting opportunities working with Hedera. Awesome. Great to hear. What's next for VPP? 
The next part of VPP is actually, you know, getting these next 10 to 20 battery storage systems out there. That becomes our POC. We're very excited that Hedera is launching on September 16th. You know, I think there's a lot of opportunities to build marketplaces out there that have been uh, very centralized to this point. And this gives a, a chance, especially with energy being so centralized, the decentralized energy marketplaces and give people, I call it almost like uh, kind of get the vote with their wallet. So outside of political things that happen, you know, this is a chance for people to see where we're going from a carbon-based economy to a green-based economy. And people can put there, even though they don't have the solution themselves, companies like myself look to actually give them opportunities where they can participate in this opportunity. There would presumably be a, an environmental benefit to this model, right? It would seem that less electricity would be wasted, perhaps. There are a lot of environmental opportunities. So once we start pushing this, the coal peaker plants are the first to go and they're they're disappearing already. But at some point, energy storage and renewable technologies are really starting to push the boundaries of where gas peaker plants become non-economical. And as we push the technology to, to grid edge, there's, there's a couple of things that really come into play as far as uh, network effects. And there have been people before have talked about network effects like Bob Metcalf at 3Com. So really, the network effects start to play in this. And as we build out the network on Hedera, the Bloom slash VPP marketplace will become very, very powerful built on network effects. Yeah. Mike, thanks very much for uh, chatting today. Fascinating use case. Uh, I look forward to seeing my VPP build out. I'd, I'd love to have one of those batteries in my own cold winter garage in the <laughs> Canadian North. <laughs> thanks, Paul. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you for listening to Hedera Hashgraph's Gossip About Gossip. If you liked the episode, please subscribe, rate and review, and also share and tell your friends. Or connect with us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, etc. at Hashgraph. Particularly if you want to leave us feedback on the podcast. We look forward to hearing from you.